Good evening. President Joe Biden today signed an executive order requiring all airline passengers to mask up when they travel. This federal mask mandate is part of the new administration's national COVID-19 strategy. Kettle Band's Perry Groton finds out how the mandate will impact the Sioux Falls Regional Airport, where he joins us now live. Well, good evening, Angela and Tom. Masks have been required here at Sioux Falls Regional Airport ever since the city mandate went into effect last fall. Now, the airport director says this new federal mandate will ensure that all airports across the country are playing by the same rules when it comes to the wearing of masks. Masks have been constant traveling companions for air passengers at Sioux Falls Regional Airport during much of the pandemic. It's strange that this is our new norm seeing masks, right? Like you, now you look at somebody who doesn't have one on and you're like, um, you should be wearing a mask. Ashley Johnson works as a dental assistant in Montana. So she knows all about the challenges of getting people to mask up. It's hard with patients and people that aren't used to wearing them to tell them to wear them all the time put them back up over your nose and wear them the right way. But Johnson finds herself torn when it comes to the federal government requiring masks for air travelers. For the medical side, I totally get it. I understand it. I, but I also, for my personal beliefs, I believe like I should be the one that keeps my health and my safety in my own hands. Um, and that's where I struggle with it. A federal mandate is expected to have more teeth than current mask requirements that are now in place since it's the federal government that regulates the airline industry. It certainly holds a lot more weight, I suppose, when you're, you're breaking a, a federal regulation versus a, an airport regulation. I don't think it's a bad thing. I mean, I think everybody needs to be safe. Everybody needs to be responsible. Everybody needs to care for everybody else. Airport officials say most travelers at the Sioux Falls Terminal have been obeying the city's mandate. So shifting to a federal requirement isn't likely to throw passengers off course. Nobody likes to wear a mask, but they understand to make themselves safe and everyone around them safe, it's, uh, it's something that they're going to do. Now this federal mandate will be in effect for 100 days and does not include just only air travel, but other forms of transportation as well, including trains, buses, and ships. Reporting live from Sioux Falls Regional Airport, I'm Perry Groton, Kelloland News.